Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, I previously did a InFab running board install on my channel. I'm gonna leave a link uh, right up here for you guys to go check out. Um, if you wanna watch this video first, I will also leave a link down in the description. You can watch it after you watch this video, which I would highly recommend that you do because I'm going to do a one year review on these running boards and let you know what I think of them. Stay tuned. <laughs> Point! All right, guys, this is my 2018 3500 Ram Mega Cab and um, for some reason, it was sold to me without running boards. So I looked around, shopped for a while, and kind of came upon these with, came upon these InFab running boards that um, were fairly priced, didn't cost an arm and a leg, and had this nice little step. It's a really nice step for how high this bed is because it's at my chest about. So it's kind of hard to get up over in there especially when you have your airbags inflated uh, which i also have on this truck for towing so it's been about a year and i want to show you guys why i think these are trash these are garbage running boards some of you guys left comments in the other video talking about how the paint chipped off well that is exactly what's happening here and um it still looks pretty good but there's a few places where it's chipping like right here and here's another spot this is kind of where rocks hit get kicked up from the tire and just kind of come along here and hit everything and this is chipping away and it's chipping away in there and it's already starting to rust so probably not gonna have much of a lifespan I mean I'm gonna guess you're probably gonna get three to four years out of them if you just let it rot away um, and at the price I guess that's not a bad deal if you you're okay with it rotting away but it's gonna make your truck look like garbage which I'm not a fan of so um, I'll probably run these for a little while longer because, you know, when you stand back a ways, it doesn't look that bad. Here before too long, once we uh, maybe get the truck paid down a little bit, I'll probably look into different running boards. Um, here's another item that I do not like about it, and I mentioned this in the install video, is the size of the step and getting your foot on it. So it's just, it's kind of weird. So getting in really isn't that bad. Uh, you just reach up here, grab this handle and step in off of it. But what sucks about it and the thing I don't like about it is when you get out, it's just, I don't know. I usually put my, my heel on it like this and then I still end up jumping down to get out of there. That way I don't rub on the seat so much once I get out but it's just I don't know I wish it was bigger I understand the uh, design look behind it but as far as a functionality standpoint of getting out of it it's not that that great but it looks good I think that's why everyone buys them is because it looks good so I'm gonna check this side I haven't really checked this side to see if there's any chipping going on Here's some chipping away from rocks here. Uh, we get we do a lot of highway mileage with this. We've probably done about forty thousand already in a year, and uh, we also take it off road in tow with a trailer because we're usually parking our horse trailer out in the fields. So, and we camp out there in the horse trailer 
which is also why I have these Cooper AT4s for traction. I enjoy them a lot. I will mention that they did kill my MPGs quite a bit when I put those on there. So, not saying it's a bad tire. It looks pretty neat. Um, it works off-road pretty well. But in the future, I'm probably going to go back to more of a street tire because 90% of our usage is highway and I'd rather optimize the most out of my MPGs so um, just a heads up on that miss has cleaned the truck so it's looking pretty good right now if you guys are new to the channel we use the mega cab it's kind of a dog area. It also fits three rough, tough kennels, which is nice. So we have dogs and we compete in field trials. So yeah, kind of a short video for you guys. This is the one year update on the NFAB running boards. Would I recommend them to you? The answer is no, do not buy them. They're gonna be trashed in about another year or two, especially if I let it go. I might try to figure out how to slap some paint on there, but for the price I got them for, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna probably let it rot away or hit it with some plastic dip to try to prevent it from rusting or something along those lines. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but do not waste your money on these. That's my final answer on the NFAB rounding boards. Um, I think a lot of you guys purchased the running boards after seeing my video and I'm sorry in advance. Um, I haven't been able to fully test it like I have for a year. So now that I've had them for a year, uh, that's my final answer. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. I have all sorts of truck videos, camping videos, you name it. And remember, get outdoors. I'll see you guys on the next episode.